Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Cynic Blitz or Justin, and welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, of course, continuing on with Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So, as you guys can see from here, we only have four duels left until GX is done, which means it worked out perfectly, because today's episode will be this episode, or this duel and this duel, and then the final two will be the final episode, which is pretty cool. So, let's get into it, a dimensional duel, Jesse vs. Zane. In the anime, this is a really awesome duel, so... That'd be pretty hype. Jaden soon learned that the possessed Marcel was after the legendary Sacred Beast cards all along. Like season 2 on 1. 1, not 2, 1. Jaden desperately attempted to prevent Marcel from raising the beasts. Meanwhile, Maximilian Pegasus found the Rainbow Dragon card. Since its power could help everyone return to Earth, Pegasus needed to create an interdimensional portal to send the card to another dimension. However, he could only create the portal if he had access to immense amounts of dual energy. But who could generate that much energy? Zane and Jesse were chosen to duel. You ready? Again, I wish they just change his outfit. More than ever. Then let's do this. Short dialogue? I like it. So yeah, basically two more episodes until five, uh, blah, 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 GX is done. But realistically, realistically, three more episodes counting this one because I will of course do the DLC and all the duels it gives you with the DLC, um, like uh, Duelist Kingdom. Hopefully it's more than two duels like Duelist Kingdom, but you never know, I guess. Alright, so, as this is my, uh, my first duel with Jesse's deck, not sure how it's gonna go. I'm pretty sure Cyber Dragon. Uh, yeah, okay, so, Rainbow, Cyber Dragon, what? Rainbow Dragon, if I can read, or even just know what I'm talking about at all, I'm pretty tired right now. Uh, he needs to have all the other Crystal Beast cards, so like all of this one, this one, and this one, and then the other four in the graveyard on the field. And this card cannot activate its effects during the turn it's special summoned, but during each play, either player's turn, you can send all Crystal Beast monsters to the graveyard. This card gets that attack for each cent, so you can pretty much get it up to 11,000. You can banish all Crystal Beast monsters in your graveyard, shuffle all cards on the field and the deck. Alright, that's not too bad of a card. And we're a value. If there are two more face of Crystal Beast cards in your spell and trap card zone, your opponent chooses one Crystal Beast card in your spell and trap card zone and sends to the graveyard, then you draw two cards. Alright, neat. Alright, so this only has 1,200. So we can probably easily take that out with Amber Mammoth. Um, or this, because he gains four and extra attack points. When you can make this card the attack target if this face up, blah, 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 blah. Once per turn, you can target one face of Crystal Beast card. You control, return that to card to the top of the deck. All right, so the best move would be to obviously summon Topaz Tiger. Again, you guys know how it usually goes. When I, you know, don't know what deck that well, I tend to try and read all the cards that I have in my hand to learn the deck a little bit. I even read this card. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can discard this card and get that. Okay, so this card is meant to be in my hand anyways. It's actually a really solid effect. Quick effect than all that jazz. That's a good card. Swift Scarecrow. Oh, Infernal Dragon. How nice. Alright. Why did it not attack? Hey, we got Ruby Ruby Carbuncle. When this card is supposed to summon, you can supposed to summon as many... Okay. Okay, so if this card attacks, there's a short... Oh, that's why. That's why. Alright. And he can only summon it back if he sacrifices. So basically, if I do this, then I'm good to go. Because in theory, this should work out perfectly. Boom. And then, yes, of course, uses effect. So bam. And then attack. Directly, there we go. Nice. And if we want to, next turn, we can summon Ruby Carbuncle and summon him back into the front of our line. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn even more. Well, yep, use it. Well, Ruby Carbuncle is going to be effective here. Um, do I want to take 1,700? I'll let that slide. I feel like I could take more damage in another point, so this card may be more useful later on. Alright. Darn it, I was going to get one of the different ones. Like, uh, there's another one that I'm just forgetting the name of right now. Um... 
Alright, so I could draw two cards by getting rid of one of the ones Zane would choose. Or... Let's see. Which is actually fine by me, because... I would hope he would choose Amber Mammoth, considering that card isn't... As useful, I'd say. Whatever, I need some more cards to hopefully get a better option. Alright, Crystal Release. Equip only to a Crystal Beast Monster, gains enter attack. Perfect! And we got... Um, that's fine by me. So let's go ahead and it's going to be risky, but I kind of want to get Ruby Carbuncle on the field because then I'll be able to summon Amber Mammoth. Well, or not. Oh, special summon. Yeah, I should probably read my cards a bit more. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. Well, next turn, we'll just go, go in and just do the whole Cobalt Eagle thing then. Because, yep, they didn't really see that one coming. That's unfortunate stuff right there. But, yes, I will activate that effect. And then I'm not going to have this go on. So, yeah, goodbye to your battle phase, my friend. Not going to let that happen. Oh, come on. Well, that's actually not too bad. Special summon one Crystal Beast monster from your deck. You have, or you must have two to activate this effect. All right, so I should theoretically summon, well, eh, let's see what we got here. So, Sapphire Pegasus is the one I was talking about, and also, yeah, Amethyst Cat, which, uh, not really too insane. So when this card is summoned, you can place one Crystal Beast monster from your hand deck or graveyard, face up in your small trap card zone, as you can spell this face up, blah, blah, blah. Let's just go in and get him, then. Um, hopefully... His effect counts for being special summon too. Ah, it does. Sweet. All right, so I would like to select, if we could, Amethyst Cat because that's useful. We're getting so close to Rumble Dragon Boys. So close to it. It's ridiculous. We need to do Crystal Release now. I have that going down. So 2,600 is solid. So what do we actually need left? We already have Topaz Tiger. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, if we just get these two cars in the field, then we can do it. Get good old Rainbow Dragon out of there. That would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and just destroy Cyber Dragon really fast. Get out of the way. And, uh, yeah. That'd be pretty nice. Especially if we can, uh, not have in place. Oh, no. Ha! Rift! Yeah. I will obviously keep him on the field, though. So just, you know, uh, what is this? You can place... Where would it? When this card is set to the field, you can place one Crystal Beast monster from your deck, face up, and... Oh, fantastic! Well, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, choose the owl-looking thing. This bad boy. Boom. And, uh, boom! There we go! My friends, that would be Rainbow Dragon. Boom! Right there. Simple as that, boys. Simple as that. All right, so that just happened. And not gonna lie, kind of surprised how good of Jesse's deck is holding up right now. It's actually being very impressive right now. I honestly expected to lose really fast to Zane's deck, but we got really lucky. We got the cards we needed, and uh, it's worked out pretty well so far, I have to say. The fact that we have Rainbow Dragon on the field, and, um... Wait, what? Uh... Yes? Oh, no, it's just for that. Okay, no. No, no, no. Wait. In this card... Okay, so during either player's turn, you can send all Crystal Beasts... Okay, oh, that doesn't matter right now, then. I mean, if he can't place a face down... Alright. Well, we should easily have this win, then. I'm gonna just try and do this really fast. Boom. 6,000. Not too bad, not too bad. I kind of wish I could special summon this card right now, because that would be really effective. Let's do this. Um, no, because that would require me 
banishing all Crystal Beast monsters in my graveyard and then shuffle all cards in the field. So that would also, you know, put Rainbow Dragon back. Uh, once per turn, you can target one face of Crystal Beast card you control. Return that target to the top of the deck. Alright, so uh, let's actually do that for Sapphire Pegasus. Wait, no, that's fine. No, I don't want to chain that. Why would I chain that? No. <laughs> Alright, now, we're going to be taking a decent risk here, but let's attack. Stop. Yeah! Sweet, now we're doing massive damage, and we're good to go. Have that, Zane. Enjoy it. You lost. Jesse wins. GG's. Jesse and Zane were able to create enough energy to widen the interdimensional portal for the Rainbow Dragon card. Well played, Jesse. The Rainbow Dragon card! Oh man, even though I just used it to win the duel. <laughs> Alright. Unleashing the Dragon is the next campaign duel. The reverse duel we unlocked right there. The deck recipe Cyberdark Overlord. Signature card Chimera Attack Over Dragon. New card award Cyber Lara. And a Cyberdark Impact. And of course, some duel points. There we go. So, next up is Jaden versus the Ubel controlled Marcel. So, let's do it! Jaden was unable to stop Marcel from retrieving the Sacred Beast cards. Now he must face Marcel's terrifying power. Ha ha ha, glad to see you made it. And in the nick of time, too. Well, you sure didn't make it easy, but nothing was going to stop me. Marcel, I can't let you do this. Don't come any closer. His arm, that's what attacked me before. Jaden, I don't want you. Tell her to leave. No more demands. You're done calling the shots. That's, that's not Marcel, Blair. He's being used by something, and I think it's time we found out by what. Marcel's voice suddenly changed, becoming otherworldly. Oh, okay, I already thought his voice was changed already. My bad. Now, now, I promise everything will become much clearer soon enough. Wouldn't you agree, my dear Jaden? I've heard that voice before, in my dreams. So who are you, really? You don't know yet? I'm your old friend. Old friend? What do you mean? Tell me what's really going on here. You're so mean. I guess you've grown up and forgotten me. That's okay. You were just a silly little kid back then. But I didn't forget about you. How could I after what you did? Now that you're here, I'm gonna make you remember everything. Especially how it ended, or ended and how you abandoned me. Huh? Now look. I don't know what you're talking about, but you're gonna be sorry. You messed with my friends, and no one gets away with that. We'll see, Jaden. Game on. Okay. Yeah, I kind of thought his voice already changed a little bit, and I'm pretty sure when it changes, it goes to the just pretty much you bell. To be fair, like I've said in the past, I have not seen season three for a while. Um, uh, you guys didn't like me a bunch of websites to go look at it and uh, watch it. And I probably will because I I really like season three like a lot. It's probably my it's my favorite season. I don't know. It's probably, I don't know, they're all really good. Like, I love all of GX, obviously, besides Season 4, because I've never seen it. Because they didn't dub it those uh, words I don't want to say right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab... Sp uh, never mind. Um, well, this is a predicament. Let's go into near space, then. I guess we should just get Clayman? Maybe? Um... I wonder if we could contact Fuse without him even being on the field. I'm pretty sure we can't. Even with a polymerization, I don't think that would work. Because I'm pretty sure they only work through contact fusion. Where's a wild heart? Why is there no wild heart? <sighs> Rude. Alright, um... I'm just going to grab any of those, because I feel like that might be useful to have right now. Alrighty. So we can summon Avion to attack or Glomoss. Now, I'm going to summon Glomoss and uh, yell and attack a little bit. Let's go with that, I'd say. Thanks to its effect, it uh, should be rather interesting. Trap card. Not too bad, but I obviously am making him draw cards, which in the end might be more effective. I don't, by the way, I don't know why this deck is so stacked. My deck was only allowed 40 cards, so I don't really know why his deck has so many different cards. Okay, really? 
I, did something with his AI mess up? Like, I don't really see a huge point for that. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. I truly don't. Now, what exactly is the effect of this? I want to see really fast. So, Glow Neos. During the end phase, shuffle the... No, no, no. Once per turn, during your main phase one, you can target one face of monster in front of control, so that target. Then apply the effect based on its type monster. This card cannot attack spell. This card cannot... Ch uh... Oh, okay. Um... So what are we trying to do here? I mean, we might as well... Let's read that again really fast. Monster, this card cannot attack this turn. That would suck. Uh, spell, this card can attack your opponent directly this turn, which I still wouldn't be able to do and trap, so... Not a huge point to do this yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do Glow Moss really fast, and then... Attack directly again and kind of see what happens. Uh, that's... Spell means I attack directly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. We can do some damage at the very least. I know it's only throwing in points, but I mean, hey, that's more damage than we would be doing right now. Oh, I knew it says 35, uh, 3,000. Forget about that. But, hmm, do I try and risk it? Not really? I don't really see a huge point to risk Glonios, because Glonios, in all honesty, isn't that huge. Because its effect isn't, like, insane. Yo, Marcel is stupid. Wait, what? What? Oh, okay, well, this is the dream. The dream has been ripped. The dream is the dream of dreams right now, boys. Well, it's a good thing I didn't risk Glow Neos, because then I would be defenseless. And that would suck. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, fantastic, I have to say. Um. Well, let's double his annoyances with two Glow Neos. I mean, Glow Mosses, not Glow Neos. Let's just make him draw some cards here. Spell. Neat. I can attack directly. Always good. I feel like this would be a very annoying duel. And then the duel against actual Yubel would be a very annoying duel as well. Alright, fantastic. Okay. I kind of forgot he had the Sacred Beast cards. Just something that slipped my mind. Alright. Neat. That's... Yeah, that's not good. Didn't expect that, to be honest. Yep, nope, didn't expect that one. Yeah. I kind of forgot that when I'm being attacked, one option is very, very bad for Gold Boss. So, yeah. Um, well, that's just not effective. Okay, we're, we're going to lose this duel. 100% we're going to lose this duel. Because, well, quite frankly, there's really no other way about it. We're just going to lose the duel. Because I'm sure he's going to summon another uh, Sacred Beast right now. And we have nothing to really do anything with. We don't really have much. See, there you go. Boom. Uh, there's Uriah. Lord of Searing Flames. And, of course, that makes sense. Now we really have no option. <clears throat> now we really have no option. And, yep, there you go. See, done. All right, well, that sucked. Um, Say your spells and trap cards get the most out of hero counter attack. I agree. We got battle fader and constellation points. Well, let's redo that then. Well, this duel is literally the bane of my existence, guys. If you have this game, feel free to tell me how many attempts it took you to beat Marcel because... Uh, I am just either really unlucky or I suck. I'm going with real unlucky because I had Chaos Neos on the field last duel. And he had Uriah and a few other cards as monsters in the field. So, in my mind, I was like, alright, my only my only effort is to use Chaos Neos' effect and hopefully destroy his monsters. But my first time ever using that effect, I only got one heads and rip the dream happened because I instantly lost the next turn. Because I'm having, you know, only like one monster in the field at that time. So Kinda really sucks, you know? Kinda really sucks. So that's unfortunate. But I'm hopefully we'll win here. 
You can probably see a different, a pretty different tone in my voice right now because like I'm just really depressed with this duel. Like it's just so one-sided. Like if he gets those cars in the field, you have no chance. Like you can't beat them. It's just, it's just as simple as that. To be honest, you just cannot beat them. And it's not like, you know, get better. You just suck. Get you know, just find a way to beat them. When he has 11,000 attack, your Raya Lord of Searing Flames, who can destroy, you know, one of your face down spell or traps every single turn, and you don't have Dark Bright or a Lucky Chaos Neos or something like that, there's like, you can't win at that point. It's just, it really sucks. So, I'm just trying my best right now, which also kind of sucks a little bit because, um, I can't get a card. If I could just get Chaos ne or Neos, Elemental Hero Neos, then that'd be great right now. Just because then I could, um, you know, do some attack damage. This is the, this is the only duel that I've played throughout, like, my seven duels with this dude. Where he does not have insanely stacked cards. And now I'm already scared again because I'm sure that's going to screw me. Alright, well, I mean, that it's not really going to screw me at all, but... Bubbleman again... Dark Panther, at least have a strong defense, but if I could just draw Neos before he activates Messenger of Peace, that would be fantastic. Sparkman is a start, but not even a kind of good start, so come on, Heart of the Cards, please yield us Neos. That's fine, it's probably a zero defense card. Ah, come on, yield us Neos, my man. You know, it's actually that's risks uh, Dark Panther. I want to see. I want to use his actual effect. See what happens. I just want to see something really fast. So, like in essence, yeah, that way wouldn't do anything. Never mind. <laughs> All right, this card has zero, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. And there we go. Might as well clear his field as much as I possibly can right now. It was even perfect last time because I I used our righteous justice when I had four elemental heroes on my side of the field. So I wiped his spell on trap card zone. But then the next round, he instantly had like duplicates of all of them, so I got wrecked again. And it really just isn't the best, man. It really isn't the best. It makes you it's, it makes you one depressed camper. If I could just please get Okay, if I could just grab um Neos, I could do so much work right now. Like I could actually do so much work right now if I could just grab Neos. All I need. Please. That is not a Neos, but I could use that to get Dark Bright in the field. Um. Or possibly, you know. Let's see, Mariner. Psh, will I have any face as well? Traps cards. This card takes part directly. That's pretty useful. Um. But I mean, he didn't instantly get destroyed, so I, got, I have to go Dark Bright anyways. Um, we'll go for the one in the field, because I would rather keep, because thanks to here, counterattack, I would like to keep as many elemental heroes in my hand as possible. So there we go, I'm going to lose 300 life points here, but, I mean, it's a small price to pay to actually start doing a bit of damage, hopefully. Again, hopefully is a, a big word right there. Alright, so... Final phase, let's just destroy his trap card. Now, all we need to do is grab, um, we just need to grab one decent card via hopefully Neos, and it would literally, oh no, and your Raya's are in the field, and now we're pretty much screwed. 4,000, of course, those are face down, because that's effect. Dark Panther, that would have been the card that I wouldn't have wanted to get destroyed. Oh, of course. Now I like. What are the odds? Of course, I grab Neos now when it literally no longer mattered. Alrighty. If I can just hold out, then I can destroy Uriah with Dark Bright's effect. But he's purposely not going to attack Dark Bright because of that effect. Um. Position. Is 
And again, there's no point for me to place anything, so it'll just destroy it. Um, hmm. Well. I, I suppose we're gonna get rid of Fake Hero. Because that's, uh, everything else is super useful. Come on, Marcel, attack! See, he won't do it, his eye, uh, he just got rid of, come on. Hero counter attack. You know this really sucks. Um, if this card is destroyed, it target one monster your opponent controls. Now, see, I would love to test if I destroy it myself. That'll work, but I don't know. Because it said if it says if this card is destroyed, it doesn't say by battle. It doesn't say by opponent's monster. It just said if it just says if this card is destroyed. So. Uh, I may take a big risk here and see if this will work. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna risk it. I'm risking it for the biscuit because there's no point to not risk everything right now. The more I stall and wait, the worse it's gonna be it. Fantastic. Fantastic. We took 2,000 life points Oh, I hate that card so much with a, with a searing passion, passion. Whatever. Um, Let's go ahead and just get some cards going, I suppose, then. Let's get Sparkman on the field in attack mode. And let's go ahead and recreate Dark Bright. Because that card obviously clutched it for us. We need to keep that. And then we're going to play this over some more time. And uh, get Sparkman back in the field again uh, next turn. That way, if we have to use Hero Counter Attack, we can. Oh, by the way, if you. Oh, hype. I will do that, but then Hero Counter Attack would suck. If you can hear tidbits of music in the background, I'm listening to pretty, pretty loud music because I need, I, need, I need all the assistance I can. <sighs> Please, our righteous justice. Please. Gosh darn it, that's the most worthless card I could possibly get right now. I, it's official, like, there is nothing to say about it. This, this, Marcel's deck is just the worst. Like, if you use this deck, you're just the biggest scumbag there ever is, like, honestly. If you actually use this type of a deck, it's literally ridiculous. Oh, thank freaking God. Okay. And just because I want to get rid of everything, we're y'all pulling Bubble Man up here. Goodbye, Mr. Your Peace. You, you can you can be crappy later on. I'm sure another one, uh, he, he probably has another one in his hand, so. Uh, I got rid of some pretty solid cards right there, which is always good. Let's go ahead and hopefully do as much damage as physically possible right now. I realized that was just my bad. I could have destroyed the other thing too, but. Luckily, it's not like a, a huge deal, I suppose. Alright, yeah, draw your cards, enjoy it. Oh, thank god, we just did 4,500 bits of damage. Oh my god, why do you- this person is duck! If we can win this, I almost want to just quit playing this game and just end off with winning this duel right here. This is the most- you guys have no idea how obnoxious this duel actually is. I told you I had another one. You have no idea. This is honestly ridiculous. Like, how how is this even allowed in in this game? Like, how is this even allowed? I just don't understand. I also don't get why he's invincible for a round. That's happened twice now where he's just invincible for like a whole round. I don't understand why. Oh my god, and I'm pretty sure I'll, I only have one Armor of Justice, so how else am I supposed to get rid of this? Oh my god, we have two of them! Oh my god, this is the most momentous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the most amazing thing I've seen in my entire freaking life. Select four cards to destroy. I don't care about this roll on my own. I could care less. This is the most beautiful thing I've seen in my entire life. I should have just wasted fake here, but I don't even care. I swear to god, if you have another one, I'm gonna smack you around the face. I freaking quit, man. Are you... Oh my god. This is more or less a Peach 13 channel. Um, so there are a lot of wars I just want to say right now. And I'm, probably, I'm probably going to if he does. 
about to say, if he would have activated Messenger Peace again, I would have literally flipped out. Like, I actually would have flipped out. Would have been a very, very bad thing to see, you know? Would have been a very, very, very bad thing to see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's try some more time. Okay. Effective. If he clutches this in one turn, like he has before, I will cry. That better be all you have. Battle phase. Don't care. Please land. Please land. Oh my god, thank Jesus. Okay. You literally, this took me hours. This took me actual hours. After the duel, the creature possessing Marcel revealed itself to be Ubel. It cast aside Marcel's body and manifested in physical form. Finally, my transformation is complete. I am as real as the rest of you. Jaden, we're finally reunited. Why are you staring at me like you don't know who I am? Look into my eyes and remember. When you were young, we were a team. When you hurt, I hurt. And I did something about it. I was going to let anyone come between us. I was your friend, your guardian, your avenger, the Avengers. And how did you repay me? By letting them send me away. But Destiny had a different plan. And it brought me back to you. Oh no, you can't be. You, Belle? Took you long enough to remember. I never forgot you. How could I? You had to send me away and decided to alienate me. But now we're face to face again. You and I have some catching up to do. Thank God. Okay, so I don't like the power. Then the reversal for that. Screw that. The deck recipe for ourselves. Screw him. Deck recipe for Phantasm. Um. Armor tile. Challenge deck. The advent of Exodia. I don't know why. Uh, signature card. Armor tile. The Chaos Phantom. Card Beast, or Card Burst, Card Award, and Stronghold Moon Fortress Card Award, Victory Points. Alright, I'm out if you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, playlist, I'm done.